Today I would like to humbly use this space that I have here to talk about something dear to me, and that would be to proclaim my hatred for hoodies in fantasy. Fucking cheap DeviantArt looking ass, Tumblr looking ass, solitary introvert looking ass, and don't even get me started on this piece of shit. You know, I actually used to think that the line you walked when it came to coming up with fantasy clothing was either do you wanna go casual like that and risk it being boring slash out of place or do you wanna go full ridiculous with spandex or weird protrusions. But recently I had an epiphany, THE epiphany you might even say. A realization that's so elusive that sometimes you take a whole lifetime to learn it. So stick around for that. Anyway, I recently caught up with One Piece and while I was doing so I noticed hey, they're dressed fairly simple most of the time, just with their shirts and their blouses. So why don't I hate looking at this? I thought. Is it because they're all drawn to be beautiful, flawless angels and that's why they can wear anything they want? No, of course not. I mean, look at this man. When Oda was drawing him, do you think he had in mind to make him a supermodel? Well, no. But is he one? Yeah. Like the way Usopp walks in and gets pummeled instantly is just full of the exaggerated swagger of a wannabe sniper and gives me goosebumps every time he does it. The post time skip outfit is awesome of course, but I feel like even the first one that comes off mostly like a gag with the full green suit can still look fine at certain angles. Oh, but the color spread outfits, they're just always dope. I mean, hey, look at this man, am I right? Another great example is of course Robin. However, if I wanna talk about her, I feel like I have to retract my previous statement, at least for a bit, you know, the flawless thing. I mean, come on, do I need to go over it? I think my favorite outfit would have to be the one from the Zoe arc, mostly casual, but she makes it work with the uh, glasses as headgear and the hair. And speaking of headgear, to this day I don't know what this is, but hey, she did it. Even as a stowaway on the go and marry, she decided to look like a model for some reason. Only complaint would probably be, maybe let's just not do the purple cowboy thing, but I mean, she did debut in the late 90s, so cut her some slack. Overall, she is a badass, a fashion icon, my wife, and of course, good looking. But again, you don't need to be. Like, even when Doflamingo comes off the boat with his annoying looking yellow and pink pastel and his extra feathers and his duck walk, and you're like, right, this is the one that I'm supposed to hate right now, you still can't deny the fact that he is pulling it off. So, back to my realization, back to the why that I promised. Why is it? Well, through careful lab analysis, I finally found the answer. And that would be... They're just well dressed. If you go and read any kind of generic fashion website, I'm 100% sure that you'll find at least one article that goes Well, uh, if you got enough pep in your step and confidence, you can do anything. And I guess that's true. I think the main thing I realized I used to do poorly was to not treat the whole design or rather their whole appearance as the outfit. Not just hair and makeup, but also demeanor. And I mean, I guess that's what they're saying, right? That with enough time put into not just the outfit, but also into how their traits appear in their clothing, your character can pull off any look, even hoodies. Aww. 
However, the main epiphany um, wasn't that. I think the reason characters don't tend to pull off casual looks is probably because the people who are coming up with their clothing are usually the same reclusive basement dwellers that actually wear nothing but these. And when I realized that was when it came to me. <sighs> the fact that I should probably start dressing better as well.